Alicia, uh, when, when icicles hang by the wall, why don't I'll you be a wall? wall? Yeah, and okay, so you're a wall and I'm icicle. So there's an icicle, there's an icicle. The Tableau of Vivant exercise is really an exercise in imagery. This is an opportunity for kids to really, very fundamentally identify the imagery in a piece of text and present it. We take several lines of text and we break it up so that we have kids come up on stage and each kid gets a line. And you two line eight, while Greasy Joan doth keel the pot. Each student's job is to take that line and look for what the main image is in the line and, and to physicalize that image. They have a couple of minutes to go off and try to create a create an image, a picture of some kind. Does that work? Yes, that would work. Not the way that an actor would interpret the text on stage, but a way that really gets them thinking about the imagery. You're cool there every time. I like it. So if, if it's really One of the things that we really like to help kids realize is that Shakespeare is so full of imagery, the language is so vibrant. When icicles hang by the wall. <laughs> if you think of the text as moving pictures, kids will start to, to almost see it like a movie in their heads. And Dick the Shepherd blows his nail. Because they have a sense of the action of it. And milk comes frozen home in jail and what the image is that's being painted. It helps them grasp words that maybe we don't use in our everyday conversation anymore. And it also, I think, does a lot to liven up the, the whole teaching of Shakespeare when you can physicalize things, because Shakespeare is very physical. Our hope is really that a, a kid will be able to go through this activity and understand that the Shakespeare language is going to have a lot of imagery in it that they'll not be intimidated by it, be able to look at it, be able to unpack it, and feel confident that they have the skills to do that. All the different imagery in this song, give yourselves a hand.